Excellent, it's done. So here's the 7z file, it's 475 MB, while the entire folder was 2 GB in size. Pretty good compression when you consider those files were already compressed. Welcome. If you came here from the other video where we covered how to zip a file, how to unzip a file, and how to open a file with the built-in tools of Windows, that's great. Here we're going to expand on that. Let's go and get more advanced and do some proper compression with high ratios so we can keep our files and save some space. What do we need for that? For that we need a dedicated compression software and the best one out there is an open source program called 7z. We'll be going to get it right now off the web. Open a browser, any search engine and if you type 7z the first thing that will come up is this software. This is what you're looking for, this page over here. This is the software. Now, you have so many options. Which one should you download? It depends on your system, whether it's 32 or 64. You don't know which version you have? Let's go and see how you find out. Go to your search options here and write system. Search. Select this option over here. Once you open this, you will see whether it's 64-bit or 32. If it's 32, you download 32, 64, 64. That's pretty obvious. Download and install. Once you're done installing, let's give the program a try. All right, let's put some things to the test. We're gonna try and zip this folder with both the program we install right now, 7z, and the Windows built-in zip compressor. So let's do the built-in compressor first. Let it run. I want you to notice the time it takes for the built-in compressor to work. That's going to be another disadvantage of using the built-in Windows compressor as it takes a long time to zip files and a long time to open files. And if you don't want to be wasting a ton of times, you're not going to want to use the built-in zip uh, feature of Windows. All right, that's great. We're just about to finish with this compression. I've saved you most of the time. And here Windows has finished compressing this file, making it a zip file. But let's do the same thing with a program that is dedicated to zipping files. Notice the speed that it takes to zip a file using 7z in comparison to the built-in one. Same files, the same folder takes almost no time at all. And you can notice that as well when you unzip that file. Okay, so the difference is almost 35 GB only for one file. But let me show you another thing that is even more surprising and may even squeeze out even more compression. So say you have a bunch of files and these should be data files. I'm talking here about data files themselves. They could be zipped already. It doesn't make a difference. If you zip, if you compress a zip file using 7z, it will squeeze out even more compression a lot of the times especially if there are multiple files with a lot of content that is similar in it, like a folder backup or a site backup or a PSD files or a PDFs or st stuff like that. It will uh, save you a lot of space. I've took all these files and you saw in the beginning and I compressed 2.5 GB into half a GB. That's a lot of disk space saved and I want to say a few words about it. So this compressed method, I want to show you the settings. This compression uh, method is only compatible when you have a strong computer. A very high compression if you have enough memory. If you don't have enough memory, don't give this method a try because it will say not enough memory midway as your memory basically runs out. But if you have a strong computer with enough memory, you can run through this high compression setup 
and you'll get a very small file. For example, 2.5 GB into 500 MB. And that's impressive. And if you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment below if you have any additional question and have a great day. See you later.